you are looking simultaneously at forces of transformation and at forces of continuity. Uh, there will always be a government because people never pay their taxes voluntarily, right? There is a, there is a tragedy of the commons. People want the roads, but, but, but the money required to, to, to pave the roads is, is hard to get unless people are um, all bound by, a, by a, a clause of citizenship. What I think will happen is going to be a much higher degree of hybridization between government and the people, and in particular the groups of people that they serve. Right? I mean, the, basically, the imperative of government uh, is, is to do more with less where possible. And certainly if there are places where you can engage the members of the community to create a kind of value that benefits the, the citizens more and, and drains the government coffers less, that's got to be an attractive option. There will, of course, be civil servants who object on historical grounds, et cetera, et cetera, but these changes also don't happen overnight. And I think the, the attractiveness of engaging the citizens in ways other than, than extracting their taxes and spending it on their behalf uh, is so profound that I think, I think the government will hybridize to take advantage of a lot of these things um, wherever possible. I don't think that includes all government services. I don't think parliament disappears. But I do think that there'll be a greater awareness of, of a kind of social engagement with the society they represent. In many cases, the governments have erected those barriers to keep themselves from being hijacked by special interest groups, right? Because it is the smaller groups who are better coordinated and have more control of information who've historically been able to bend government to their will. Um, my hope is that as communications patterns make these groups more representative, uh, the rationale for shielding government from communication with the citizens begins to decay because it becomes more representative simply to have that conversation, right? You're, you're engaging a larger swath of society. Some of the checks and balances which have previously been the key part of the design of government start getting embedded in the population themselves, right? Wikipedia, right? The design of Wikipedia is really the history of two things, checks and balances and governance problems. And the idea that a piece of software plus the community that uses it could take on those problems suggests that the government can hybridize not just the output, but in fact the, the, the mode of functioning, the way it does its work, uh, in, in, uh, in Congress with its citizens. Uh, my guess is that that will happen first and best at the city government level, where the natural, natural social density of the population makes it easier to take care of or easier to, easier to take advantage of. But I think it will move up the national scale as people become you know, aware of and comfortable with the possibility on both sides, both the citizens and, and uh, the ministers. Where are we heading? What are the tools, what sort of world are these tools or this cultural change leading to? I think we're heading for, I think we're heading for the world of the four-year-old, right? Where, where more and more people, either because they grew up in that world or because they've, they've learned about this world, take it for granted that they can get involved, that they can interact. Take it for granted that there is significant wisdom and value in interacting with other people in groups that are not, um, that are not commercial operations, that are not expertly vetted, that don't have all the kind of classic infrastructure that we associate with value, but are nevertheless uh, tremendously important and engaging. And I think that set of uh, I think that set of assumptions, right, people, people just thinking when they get up in the morning, right, oh, I know what I could do today. I could go out and try and gather a group, or I could go out and try and join a group, or I could go out and try and find an existing group to, to learn from. Uh, you know, when Wes Streeting got up in the morning to do that Facebook thing, um, he just realized that a possibility existed in the world that was absolutely available to anybody in his circle, but he was the first person to have that intuition, and then other people learned from him. So I think 50 years, as I say, is too long to predict, but I think, I think as, time, as time goes on, we will see people increasingly comfortable participating in situations where the social value is really about other people caring enough rather than someone being paid to provide that value. And where the end point of this, that is, I don't know. It's, it's, I think, going to be a long period, as I said, of hybridization. Uh, but I do think the end result is going to be quite profound.